received a call from the shop. You have a moment? Okay, so they don't even know what to say. say. I, the owner called me this. So that was the owner and he was saying that his son who was working on it misdiagnosed and he doesn't think it's the fuel pump. So they're not going to drop the tank. He, th he says it is the converted, uh, the, the ca catalytic, catalytic converter. converter. Yes. That's what Carolyn said. So he says it's a catalytic converter. They don't do catalytic converters there. He's going to call his buddies around town and, and see if when they can get us in might have to be here for the weekend potentially holy crap he said his his young mechanic learned a lot today and he apologizes <laughs> but that a uh, motorhome like ours usually needs uh, to re redo a catalytic converter every 50,000 miles every 50,000 miles catalytic converters are expensive and it's not a bad thing it's a thing that you that you'd have to get replaced anyway. Okay, does he know how much? No, cause he don't do them, but he's calling around and he'll call me back. Okay, does he think we could get to Washington? He wouldn't even try to get to Bend. Really? Cause here's the thing that he, he says our temperature gauge isn't working properly because of that. And- So we might have overheated already. Yep, and he says the fan isn't kicking in. He said you could drive it to Bend, but he would say that the shops in Bend aren't gonna get us in anytime soon. And our best bet is this town. That's what he told me. So we sat here for a week. Aaron called to see when we should get over it because they said, okay, by tomorrow you, we should have the lift open. Well, it's not open. We did this yesterday and then we weren't able to get into get the rig fixed, but we are very hopeful today. Day four. Aaron called them this morning, left a message. So I called, <laughs> just calling to see if we can get in today. She said, first thing tomorrow. Day five. We just dropped off the rig waiting for them to replace a part that actually doesn't need replacing and they can't do it. They can't do it. So now he's looking for somebody to fix it that can do it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, um, I just received oh. a call from the shop. You have a moment? Okay. So they you don't even know what to it. say. The owner. Okay, awesome. Thank you, sir. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. All right, you too. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm going to call this other place that he called them. We're all set up. Show up Monday. Say, send us. I'm going to call them anyway. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. And then. I'm gonna call the RV park. Yeah, because it's gonna be hot all week, right? Yeah. All weekend. Oh my God, I can't believe we have to do this again on Monday. You know, the the more we delay getting back to Washington, the more we delay you making money, but we're spending more money than we ever would have if we got there I last know. week. It's true. Oh, they have a solid five-star rating, over 20 reviews. Okay.
cool summer noodles. And then these are the salmon satchels. And in here, pork fried rice. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm so excited. Can I have a bite of that? and everything. This was always my favorite section at any video store. All right, we've got John here. We're hanging out. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we have this flake here. We're about to test out. Very cool. Yes, we'll be taking this flight. Uh, yes, I will be taking multiple flights Please today. Your into the car. <laughs> hey! I think there should be a lot. Is this a video? Yeah. <laughs> We just said goodbye to John. That's him right there. We had such a great time just trying some beers and talking for like two hours. It was lovely. So go check out John's channel at Nomadic Pride. Give him a subscribe. Hey! <laughs> because <laughs> he's doing big things. Hi. How's it going? Hi. You got two beautiful eyes. Yes, you do. You got two beautiful eyes. And there's your little homie back there. Hi. Hi. Hi, Littles. Hi. Hi. Oh. Why are you so cute? Again, working outside we dropped off the rig at 7 a.m. this morning at the second mechanic spot and they said it would only take an hour or so and it did but this is one of the realities of working on the road it sometimes work has to come first even though there's a billion other things happening I needed to get my computer because I had forgotten it in the rig and we tried to go to a park but as you can tell it is or not i don't know if you can tell it's super smoky outside and so we have to be really careful about where we are outside because of just how bad the air quality is so we tried to sit out in the park that didn't work because my hotspot, the t-mobile hotspot, sucks 
So I wasn't able to even really load any web pages, Slack or anything, and I have video meetings to do, so that just wouldn't cut it. So we came back to the cafe that we were at the first time, which is great, they're so sweet and they love Pam, <laughs> but their internet is stronger. I'm just using it for meetings, I'm not doing anything um, work-related else on it, so yeah, Aaron figured out a way to pick up the rig, but he's taking care of that. I can't think about it. What I have to do right now is think about work, which is what I'm trying to do. So here we go. Yeah, look what we got back. I test drove it. Went up hills beautifully. Was able to accelerate. Change the um, catalytic converter and the um, muffler. Day eight. Pretty sure it's day eight. Back on the road. Washington or bus. <laughs> None of that. What's over there? Good morning. Good morning. We had a very quiet night yeah. here in Mount Hood National Forest. There's Pam. She had to jump out of the door when we opened it this morning. Aaron had to go and get her. This is the last leg of our trip, although it's going to be a couple stops. We're going to go as far as we can, and then I have meeting and work we will continue on from wherever we stop washington today final destination tonight today <laughs> if all goes well if all goes well Stinky. Washington rest stops, a portion of them have dump stations and water. I know this because our tabs have a specific <laughs> line item for dump stations and water stations at rest stops. I think it's like, mm, I don't know. I want to say like it's five bucks or something. Like tabs are like $30 and then you have a list of other charges on top of that. You know what? I am happy to pay for the dump stations and the water because I always appreciate when there are some and that's fine. Are they together? <laughs> One arrived after the other, several minutes after. How funny. We also have trash, trash bins, which is awesome. It's burning up out there. This is the last leg of 
love the journey. You always know you're almost home when you see Slater Kinney Road. Mountain is out.